is up y'all Usmeka here bringing another beast mode episode this time it is mr tulua he is playing uh let's see hard point on hijack now hijack is one of the smallest maps on black ops 2 which makes it a lot of excitement um you know you'll be dying a lot um also you'll be getting a lot of kills in this case he won't be dying a lot therefore he made it to the episode beast mode baby here we go rocking the pdw probably one of you know the more uh powerful people think it's overpowering but i don't know you can argue that fact um pdw is a really powerful smg he does have camel the diamond camel on it so you know he knows how to use that pdw really well uh, also he has that emblem and his you know clan tag on there so in order to get that emblem clan tag you need to prestige your weapon two times and that's pretty hard you know a lot of people just want to satisfy settle with the uh, you know just one time get all your attachment they don't want to get it two times after that so he is pretty beast with this gun as you can see building up his kill streak going in for the spawn trap hard point is a really good map to spawn um game mode to spawn trap on if you, your team knows how to you know set up properly it is a uh, an mlg game type you know and and uh studying a lot of mlg footages you know they hard point is a really good map to uh hold down and also you know there's different positions of your team uh you know there's the the guys that run in for the hard point you know they're the objective players and then you got guys that that like to uh stay back make sure their team spawns in a certain area that way your team can you know um always have a better spawn so they they're right there right next to the spawn um you know right next to the hard point and as you can see he does know how to play hard point really well he he knows that the next hard point will be spawning down here that's why he is waiting for the uh, next spawn point of the hard point spawn point hard point <laughs> anyway so there you go still building his kill streak up um he, it is being contested right now he gets that guy out but then there's another teammate on the other team that's uh you know waiting for him as well so calls out his load star and this man this is beast on core that is on hardcore you'll probably end up getting some betrays you know and so you want to be careful but on core you can go ham on the other team um i had to fast forward just because you know um, we like to see his skill in play with his weapon. He picks up an AN-94, going to work with that, you know, if he does run out of ammo with this gun. Um, that's why Scavenger also comes in handy, but if you're beast mode like him, heck, he can pick up other weapons as well. Calling in his UAV, team moving in for the, uh, you know, not only the spawn trap, but also to move in and capture that hard point. Um, it kind of reminds me of Capture the Flag, or not Capture the Flag, King of the Hill from Halo 3, if you guys remember that game type. Um, very similar to that, you know, pretty much King of the Hill style of gameplay. So, but knowing the spawn points, knowing the next, you know, where the next hard point will be is really important in this game type if you want to always win. And then, then you got players like him, which just runs around the map. Uh, cause a big distraction for the other team you know they they can hard they can't even get into the uh, spawn you know the hard point because he's just out there just getting in their face gets his other load star calls that in i'm going to fast forward a little bit as well so there you go he's just raining down on these guys uh bringing in the load star you know one of the most deadliest kill streaks in the game and so if you guys have the chance go ahead and use that uh you will rack up a lot of kills um, finding his position, drop shots on this guy, and goes back to the uh, hard point. Right now, the opposing team does have a better spawning point. Um, spawn, you know, they're spawning right next to the hard point. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, you know, this game is all about trying to to have those anchor players sit back so they can spawn your teammates. Like like these guys are the spawning right next to the hard point. Um, but it doesn't matter. Look at him, just going ham on these noobs. You know, they're spawning right there, and he's just trapping them from even getting into the spawn point. Look, his teammates captured the last few seconds of it, and now he's just causing a distraction for these uh, these guys on the top mid. 
And there he goes, running back to the next um, spot where he knows, you know, they're going to be spawning and spawn traps them in that area. So this is a really fun game mode. If you guys have the chance, you know, test it out. See if you guys like it. It, it really is a fast-paced game. I've noticed. Um, I haven't played played 6v6 on it. <clears throat> I've only played uh, league play on it, and it's it's actually a lot of fun on league play. It does get really competitive. Uh, when you start playing teams that understand the game real well um, the anchor positions you know the objective players and so it will get stressful but if you're like you know mr Tulua here who's just running around causing distraction you can actually break those setups you know break those teams apart i mean <clears throat> here he is with the pdw um i i haven't used the pdw as much so i can't tell you you know um if it's better than like say the peacemaker or you know just other weapons but as man he's making it look like it is better so I might just give it a give it a shot um, I'm more of a assault rifle player though but oh well it's not about me it's about him there you go spawn trapping again kinda looks like a familiar scene where he you know was doing it earlier in the game and now he's doing it again um, <clears throat> but now that he has um, you know has a good team that's just holding up positions while him and the other um, teammate right there is just spawn trapping but they've now spawned on the other side of the map where he can turn around and just let them come to him instead of him going there and spawn trapping them takes cover um, you know rejuvenate his health and just waiting for them to come out of that cabana and he got one two and just you know man easy money for him look at that building his kill streak and there you go the end of the game 220 to 134 absolute slaughter and his final score we shall see it i'm gonna pull it up real quick it is there you go 87 or 81 and 7 wow he almost doubled his the next player under him